Hello and welcome to DS Color Labs. I'm here to show you a quick tutorial on how to size your images before you send them through to us. I'm using Photoshop Elements at the moment, but this is exactly the same process for Photoshop Full and most other editing programs. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get your image open and import that there. Now that image is pretty much straight from a negative we've scanned. It can be the same from if you've got a uh, digital file if you need it. But uh, once you've got the image imported, for any image, the easiest way to size it is we found through the crop tool. A lot of people will try and size an image through the image size function. Now this isn't always the best way to do it because whilst you can change the pixel dimensions so it's resized, uh, it can constrain proportions which means it can distort or warp or change the image in a way that is unpleasant that you that you won't like basically um, so we found the best way to do it is to use the crop tool now the crop tool is actually a lot more useful because if you notice in the top here it gives you a field of width height and resolution and that's exactly what we need we need uh, your images size to the width and height of the paper you're ordering and the resolution we have which is 300 dpi. Now if you use this crop tool all you need to do is set in the width and height what size you want it. I want it 10 by 8 so just to show you I've got 10 in which stands for inches and I'm going to put 8 in and then in the resolution 300 because it knows it's going to be dpi and that's it it's all set. So now I drag the crop across there that fits it perfectly and that's it that image is now perfectly set to be sent to us and printed in any way shape or form if you want to do what's called a selective crop say you might want to change the angle of it so you can go from 8 by 10 instead uh, but this time I just want to pick out John there playing his guitar but not so much of George. Now that area that he's sitting in there, that little crop area, is exactly 10 by 8 at 300 dpi. And that won't change. So now if I crop that, I've got a perfect shot at 10 by 8, and I can send that through no trouble at all. And there won't be any cropping or warping or distortion whatsoever. So if you ever need to resize our uh, any images for our printing, it's always best to use crop and it's always at the size of the paper you want to order and at 300 dpi. Now some people run into trouble if they want to order something at a larger size that uh, is a strange dimension say. So say if you've got a, a, a an 11 and a half by 7.5 that you want to fit onto uh, a 15 by 10. What you can then do is change the either the again the uh, crop settings so it's larger or you can change the canvas size now a good way to do this just using the crop tool is I want it to be 15 by 10 That's set then what you can do is you can drag the crop around there now you notice it's the wrong shape so what I can do is I can drag that a little further over and then move that central and there you have the image now you notice they've got white bars on the side. This is unfortunately something it has to do to fit it onto our paper. These can be trimmed off obviously later on, but you notice you've got the whole of that image inside that 15 by 10 sheet. So that way you're not getting any warping, distortion or cropping, which is the main thing. So if you've got an unusually sized image that you want printed onto one of our standard size prints, because we can't do bespoke size papers, so if you want to fit an image inside that, that's the best way to do it, is to just use the crop tool to set what size paper you want and then drag it over the area, but make it slightly larger so the whole thing fits in. You can also do that through the option called image size. There's image size and canvas size. If you select canvas size, you can set the canvas to whatever size you want and it will just build the, uh, the white border around it. So from there, you just order that print as a 15 by 10 and that's how it, that's exactly how it'll come out looking with those white borders and from there uh, you should just be able to get a perfectly uh, sized and good resolution image from any image you put through to us just following those simple rules okay thanks